part of Nissan's um, partnership with the British Olympic Association and obviously their sponsorship of the 2016 Games in Rio, uh, I came on board as an ambassador. We've sponsored the British Olympic team, which is great, uh, and that obviously gives us access to some of the key athletes, in the course, including Chris. And as a, a, a side spin-off of, of that project, um, the opportunity to race in, uh, in their Nissan GTR came about, and I didn't, <laughs> didn't need asking twice. Never dreamt that I would ever get this opportunity to, to start a racing career. All these gold medals, maybe people think he doesn't feel pressure. This is a different environment. He's out of his velodrome environment. He's in the motor racing environment. He'll feel under pressure and he's going toe to toe with seasoned, experienced drivers that have been racing for years and years and years. It's a big challenge, but I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to get stuck in. From the short time I've worked with Chris, uh, he's fantastic. You know, he's focused, he's very, very enthusiastic to, to learn. It's so fantastic to, to be working with such an influential guy as Chris, you know, to be uh, doing British GT, you know, this year with him is a fantastic opportunity for us and the team. He's already driven our GT4 car, um, now it's his first time in the, the big GT3 car. It looks intimidating from the outside, but it's actually um, really intuitive and it, it, you feel like you've, I feel like I've driven it for quite a few laps, even after the first two or three, so it's, it's just, I'd say it's by far the best race car I've ever driven. I think the highlights for this season will just be to get onto the grid in the first place. I'm realistic with my ambitions, I'm realistic that you know I'm a very much a novice, so I'm not expecting to win immediately, but every race I enter I'm trying to be the best I can be and ultimately that's you know long term that'll be to try and win. It's just the start of a new journey as well, you know, for me to have done the same thing for so many years, you know, you're looking for 0.1 of a percent improvement over the space of a year um, and if you get that you're delighted whereas with this I'm right at the bottom it's a steep learning curve so every time you come down you see improvement and that's it's a nice feeling to have when you're, you're at the start of a new, a new journey. When you start to break it down there's many things that I'm able to, to bring from my, my cycling experience across into the car. The biggest thing is listening to your coach, listening to the advice you're given, trying to apply techniques and, and skills that you're being instructed to do and I think that's, that's the biggest thing that's helped me so far is just trying to listen to Alex. His time seem around here just, just over one, one second off, so um, yeah, you know, really impressive. You know, it's his first time in the car. He's got that really competitive spirit about him anyway, so that, you know, that's, that's really going to set us in good stead for the races. He made himself, uh, a, you know, a gold medal Olympic, uh, Olympic champion. I'm sure that he'll be uh, pushing himself in exactly the same way in one of these. Well, I've had a fantastic day so far and it's an amazing car, really just mind-blowing really, way beyond what I've driven before. It's one thing taking it out on an empty track, but I think uh, racing, the adrenaline and the excitement and just the atmosphere, uh, I really can't wait.